All right, so I'm going to record the session so that those that are not yet in can uh, have access to them. All right, so in case you have any questions or you want to join my online classes, yeah, so feel free to contact me using these uh, lines on the screen. Then I'm going to talk on discuss from there. All right, so this is the first question that we have tonight. So the question is very much simple. Yeah, what you just need is to understand what they want you to do. So the question says, determine the exact value of the following. So determining the exact value of these figures is very simple. Yeah, so logarithms are basically simple. Let me just connect my tablet so that we quickly begin. So in case you have any questions as I am teaching, feel free to uh, contact, uh, rather feel free to, to interrupt me. All right, so let's quickly begin. So this is the first question. And um, the question says we have to determine the exact value of uh, these questions. So this is how you do it. Okay. Let me just change the color of the marker. All right. So uh, the first one is the log of uh, 343 by 7. So how do you change this? So the basic concept in this question is um, you have to understand that the log of anything uh, base that thing is always equal to one, one. So if you have, let's say, log uh, five base five, the answer is one. Log eight base eight, the answer is one. So this is the reason as to why we say the log of 10, the answer is one. Why? Because the base here, if we have not written anything here as a base, it means that the base is 10. So log 10 base 10, the answer is one. So I'm going to be fast so that we can finish um, today's, I mean, we can finish the logarithms in today's session. Uh, I want us tomorrow to start um, binomial theorem. Yeah, so I've seen, I think there's a tutorial sheet, somebody sent it to me. So we're going to start solving the tutorial sheet for binomial theorem and I'll make sure that I start from scratch binomial. I want to explain everything bit by bit. All right, so Let's quickly begin. So the first question here is the log of 343 base 7. So the log of 343 base 7 can also be written as um, 7 times 7. We know that 7 times 7 uh, gives us 21. And then times 7, oh, yeah, 7 times 7 gives us 49, rather. Yeah, so 49 times 7 is the one that gives us um, 343. Yeah, so we know to say 343 can also be written as uh, 7 times 7 times 7. And this can be written as the log of um, 7. And then this 7 to the power what? To the power 3, because we have three sevens there. So we can write this uh, like that. So remember, the rule which says when you have a log of a base uh, base um, base b to the power x, this x can drop down, it can drop down, it can go there. So we can have x log a base b. So this is what we're going to apply there. So this three can drop down there. So we're going to have three, and we're going to have log um, seven base seven. And then remember we said the log of a base a is what one. So this part here will give us what? One. So we have three times one, which gives us what? Three. So we do the same event for the second question. So I'm not going to solve all the questions. Let me solve the second one. And then we we'll see, I'll also pick up other questions that seems to be uh, complicated. That seems to be a bit complicated. So we have the log of, um, 1024 base 4. So this one can also be written as log of 4 times 4, that is uh, 
16 times 4, that is 64 times 4. So um, 64 times 4. So 64 times 4 gives us 256. And then when you multiply that by 4, that's the one that gives you um, that's the one that gives you 1024. Then we have the base 4 there. So this can also be written as the log of 4 to the power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 4 to the power 5, base 4. So this 5 would drop down so that we have uh, 5 log 4, base 4. So this part here is the one that we have as 1. So we have 1 there. So which gives us what? 5. Hence, the log of 10 to 4 uh, base 4 is simply just what? 5. So it's as simple as uh, this. So um, I think I'll skip. Let me pick one fraction. So I'll get um, the log of 1 over 121 base 11. So this one is also simple. We can write this as the log of I mean, of course, 11 there as a base of one, two, one to the power negative one. So uh, we know that 11 times 11 gives us uh, 121. So we have the log of 11 squared to the power negative one base 11. So we have the log of uh, 11 to the power negative two because two times negative one there gives us negative two. And we have base 11. So these two come this side so that we have negative two there. And then we have log 11 base 11. So this part here gives us a one. So we're going to have negative two times one. And this will give us what? Negative two. So it's very simple. So I'm, I'm also going to put, pick a decimal. So it's also just the same. You don't have to, there's nothing that is different. So 0 0.001 can also be written as, um, um, so 0 0.001 can also be written as, so we have, uh, this can be written as um, um, 0 0.1 to the power four. Then we have this 0 0.1. So this four come down there so that we have um, four log 0 0.1 base 0 0.1. And this part will give us what? A one. So we're going to have four times one and the answer will be four. So very simple. We have the, the next one is the log of four base 16. So how can we make four? Um, how can we make 16 from four? How can we get 16 from four? It's by, um, it's by saying uh, the square root of what 16, how can we have 16 there? And then once you calculate what you have there, the answer should be uh, what you have there. So this uh, square root of 16 can also be written as 16 raised to the power half. Anything, uh, the square root of anything is just the same as the power. I mean, um, that thing to the power half. So we have 16 here. So we can drop down the power there so that we have the log of, so that we have one over two log 16 base 16. So this part will give us one, hence the solution will be one over two. So the remaining questions, I believe they are simple. Let me just solve the last one which is h, so we have the lean of um, one over the fifth root of e. So this can also be written as the lean of um, one over e to the power one over five. So fifth root of anything is just the same as the power one over five. So which can also be written as the lean of um, um, e to the power negative one over five. So this negative one over five can drop there so that we have the lean of E. Remember, lean E is just the same as the log of E with the base E. So this can be written as the log of E with the base E. 
And we know that this is equal to what? One, hence we have one over five as the answer. Do we have any question on this question? Um, how do you answer C? C, identifies the way I solved D, maybe it will be easy. Okay, let me do it. Because um, we have C, like I'll be, I'll, I'll just be fast. So meaning I'll not be skipping some questions. I'll just, I'm just going to be fast when solving questions. But if you have a questions, feel free. I mean, if you have a question, you feel free to uh, ask as I'm solving. So this is three over eight. So the base is a fraction there and we have a fraction there. So how can we write 27 over 512 in terms of, a, in terms of three over eight? So this is going to be, we know that for us to come up with 27, uh, having three there means that we're going to uh, raise the three to the power three. Hence, we're going to have three. And uh, of course, if we, write, if we raise eight to the power three, we also have um, five, 12. So we can just write three over eight there. Then we raise everything to the power three. And we have three over what? Eight, because we know that three to the power three will give us uh, 27 and h to the power three will give us uh, 512. So we can drop down the three there so that we have the log of three over eight base three over eight. And this side we're going to have three. So we have three times this part since we have the same thing there as the base. Therefore we have that to be one. And the final solution is three. Okay. All right, so we quickly move on. Okay, I hope maybe there are no questions maybe on this one. I don't know if you have questions. Okay, so we proceed. 